These are the the latest sculptures I've just made. Uh, I've made about ten so far prior to these, and amazing. They've all sold, so I'm delighted about that. They've been very popular. This is the first one. This is a uh, Lou, Lou falling from heaven, or falling in as a comet, or as a solar deity. You can see that there. He's in the. He's he's sort of emanating from the clouds. And he's carrying uh, the spear of Lu, which was one of the four treasures of Ireland brought by the Tua de Danon when they came from their uh, destroyed homelands from across the sea. This is American, the Druid, and he's issuing a proclamation at, at, on the Tua de Danon at Tara. And... Uh, so I basically did him in a kind of a more kind of a cartoony style because even though he was probably a, someone in the mythology that may have been a real character, he may there may have really have been a uh, a real druid called Emergen because the, the, what's interesting about that that's that mythology is there's a a fascinating series of uh, genealogies around it which suggests that there may be some truth to it. But he's holding his magic staff with a shrunken head or something. And he's pointing towards the two of the Dan, and he's he's invoking his famous um, Americans uh, in, 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 invocation. I am a satirist of the wind, and uh, I did a, I'm standing behind a, a kind of a stone with a, a Celtic spiral thing, done in the, in the shape of the, the satire as a as a magic as a curse, issuing forth in the wind, and then this one. Last one is basically the battle at the, at the end of the Battle of Maitura. You have Balor of the Evil Eye and he's slain ne, Nuada of the Silver Arm. The Silver Arm has let him down. That He had a, he had a bionic arm that, that had been created by a druid for him. He was the former king of the Tui de Danon. And there is Lu again, but this time I portrayed him in the, in the aspect of the solar wheel coming from the other side of the battlefield to destroy Balor. And so that's them. And also, this the second part of a wonderful feature that Greg Moffat has done in New Dawn magazine on me and my work. And uh, it's really fabulous. Uh, part two of the wonderful magazine as well. And uh, it's, it's just a wonderful article by Greg. And uh, I'm very proud of this and the previous one. They've been featured in such a such a well a prominent magazine australian magazine that's only available now sadly outside the Hem southern hemisphere uh, a, a subscription I, I wish it was a newsstand magazine it's that good so that's that thank you very much